Sophie Wessex and Sarah Ferguson are among those who attended the London Memorial of the Queen's cousin, Lady Elizabeth Shackley. Today, Lady Elizabeth, who died in November 2020 aged 79, was the cousin of the Queen as well as a close friend and confidant to the monarch. She was best known for organising royal parties, including an event held ahead of the wedding of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge in April 2011. Sophie Wessex donned a green emerald dress while Sarah Ferguson wore a blazer over a black dress. The service of Thanksgiving was to commemorate Her Majesty's cousin, known professionally as Lady Elizabeth Anson. The service was held at St. Margaret's Church, Westminster, with a number of high-profile guests attending thanks to her prominence in royal circles. Alongside the Countess and Fergie, Prince Michael of Kent and Princess Michael of Kent also attended. But despite their closeness, the Queen did not attend the event amid ongoing health issues related to her sporadic mobility struggles. Lady Shackley was the daughter of Thomas Anson, Viscount Anson, and Anne Bose Leon, who became Princess Anne of Denmark when she remarried. Born in Windsor Castle in 1941, she served as the Queen's party planner since 1960 and has organised a number of royal soirees, including an event held ahead of the wedding of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge in April 2011. Members of her family were at her bedside when she died in the early hours of November 1, 2020. Her death came just months after the Queen made her a commander of the Royal Victorian Order as a sign of her personal esteem, according to the court circular. In April, the entry in the court circular read, The Lady Elizabeth Shackley has been appointed a commander of the Royal Victorian Order by the Queen today and has received the insignia. After founding the firm party planners in 1960, Lady Elizabeth and went on to arrange events for numerous members of the royal households, as well as the Queen's most high-profile occasions, including her 90th birthday. Lady Elizabeth spoke fondly of her friend, and said a large selections of cakes had been baked by the public for the event and transported to Windsor Castle. She said, the lovely thing about her, nothing goes to waste. So there are all these lovely cakes and when she has a private party, the cakes are there to eat with your coffee, us Scots don't believe in waste. Lady Elizabeth leaves one daughter and two grandchildren.